These shelves are filled with specimens from the Royal BC Museum's invertebrate collection. And invertebrates are animals without backbones. So the more common ones that people know are things like crabs and snails and sea stars, those sorts of animals. But uh, here in the collection we have everything from, you know, microscopic plankton all the way up to giant squid. And sponges. Sponges are very strange animals, even for invertebrates. They're basically just collections of cells. They don't form any tissues or any organs. They're just filter-feeding blobs. But despite this basic body feature, they're really important for the environment. So they filter water, um, so they're good indicators of the water quality. They also provide refuge for other animals. There are also glass sponges. They build a supporting structure, matrix, or you can call it a skeleton even, out of glass. So they literally build their bodies out of glass. These animals have existed since the pre-Cambrian period, yet new species are still being discovered. So just off of our coast on a sea mount, so an underwater mountain, they collected um, this specimen in 2018 as part of a Pacific Seamounts expedition. It was studied by Dr. Henry Reiswig, one of the world's leading experts in glass sponges and a research associate at the Royal BC Museum. And he's discovered that this is a species that's never been seen before in the world and this will become described and uh, identified and given a name. And will be housed in the invertebrate type collection. Here's one from Bill Austin's collection. So we're lucky that we also had another local expert, um, Dr. Bill Austin, and he studied the coast for over 60 years. He was one of the founding fathers of Banfield Marine Sciences Center. Austin passed away in 2018. Austin's family and his colleagues have created a website in his honor and donated his collection to the museum. It comes in with his own handwritten labels, where it was collected, what date, what depth. Um, the lad and long of where it was, who identified it, and then I catalog and database all this information. And this is what it looks like with all of the final information. And then that just goes in the jar on the outside and we kind of wiggle it in. And we print all our information on special paper that does not um, break up in alcohols. And he's added, you know, over 600 lots of specimens that represent over 265 different species. And these can be accessed by researchers around the world. His colleagues are coming in, but more importantly, it's available for students and the public. Adding to the remarkably diverse invertebrate collection. We're actually still learning a lot about our ocean and the animals that live in it. That's the real function of museums, is to continue our learning. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.